Would you like to learn how to work with less clients and make more profit? Uh, that's what we're going to be covering off on today's tip, uh, tip 36, and I'm Kevin Bees. And the tip that I'm going to be sharing with you then is actually increase your prices. When was the last time you put your prices up? Quite often when I suggest this to the entrepreneurs that I work with, very frequently there's a fear that if I put my prices up, then my customers are gonna head away. Now, dependent on your industry, dependent on your product and service, that could be a real possibility. So you need to consider this tip uh, very carefully. I know I have particularly a client who works in a mature industry uh, selling insurance policies, and it's very much commoditized product. If she sells her product or service, uh, at a lower price, she's likely to win the work. Now, uh, there's some ways that we can begin to distinguish her by uh, service, by having a really good, unique niche that could help her put her prices up. But there may be some industries where this isn't particularly appropriate. But I want you to think very carefully about in your industry, could this work? And here's here's why I want to share it with you. Uh, as soon as I showed you the statistics yesterday around you know price decreases and what happens if you put your prices down how much uh, money you lose. Well, I wanna show you the opposite of that today. If you put your prices up, how much additional profitability can you make? So uh, on this mathematical table that we can see here in front of us, along the top is if we increase our prices by this amount, so we've got five, 10, 15, 20%, and dependent on your levels of gross margin. So let's just imagine that you have a gross margin in your business of 30%. If you have a gross margin of 30% and you put your prices up by 10%, you could effectively do 25% less work. You could lose 25% of your clients and still make the same money, right? Or if you put your prices up by 20% as one of my clients did and you were say on a 40% margin, you could do 33% less work and earn the same money. Now, isn't that cool? Less clients, less effort, and be making the same profitability. Now, of course, uh, you know, if a third of your clients drops away and you can make the same money, that's, that's probably okay. But here's the thing, most often or not, many clients don't disappear, they don't drop away. Um, I had a, a lady who was very nervous about doing this, she ran a, a play center for children, and she was bold enough to put her price up by 20%, and she came back uh, a couple of weeks, actually two, three weeks later, and she was super excited because not one person had decided to stop using her service. They all continued to pay at the higher price and, and they were happy. So she was making way more money for doing the same work. Uh, another client uh, who was in one of the workshops of mine, he ran a business um, selling parts for boats. Okay, And so he went through and he reviewed all of the different prices of all of the different products. And he hadn't done that in a long time. And he realized that he could increase the prices on, on many of these products in comparison to his competition. He was actually, he had space to increase. So he increased it. Now the result for him was that he was able to take a Friday off, you know, one day a week off additional and still make the same money. So he was getting more time to be with his, uh, his, his uh, daughter, his family to play and hang out and earn the same money. Like super cool. Uh, I had another lady in the workshop I was explaining this concept to and she said, look, Kevin, I, there's no way I can increase my prices. I have a coffee shop. She said, if I increase my prices on coffee, people would know straight away. And that's probably true. People may be very sensitive to the price of the coffee. If it's $3.50, $4, that may make a difference to them. But she could easily increase the price of the sandwich or the toast or the chia bowls or uh, anything else. Even if she stuck 10, 20, 30 cents on those things, people probably wouldn't notice. They wouldn't even realize because they're still getting a great quality product, uh, you know, a price that's good. So the, the idea or the concept that I'm trying to sell to you today is increase your prices. Once you increase your prices, you're going to be able to uh, attract more revenue, more profitability with less work and less effort. And what it really takes is for you to have a belief uh, in yourself. Now, how can you use this in a way? It, it may be the case that you don't want to do that for your existing clients. You, you may want to uh, honor what you have with them and keep giving them the same price. If that's your situation and you think that's appropriate, tell them that you're putting the prices up for your, your new clients coming in so they know that they're getting the value, you're honoring the old deal. But for any new clients coming into you, maybe offer them the opportunity at the higher price. Um, the other piece on this is you can use this as a scarcity tactic. So if you knew that you were putting your prices up, say in two months from now, 
you can start telling all of your existing clients or people or, or people potentially looking to come and work with you, my price is going up to this on this date. So if you sign up before that date, you can have my old prices. If you sign up after that date, you get the higher prices. So they could, you could use this quite easily as a scarcity tactic to help people make a decision sooner rather than later. And of course, a little bit of urgency in the buying process is always a great thing. Okay, so that's the tip for today. Increase your prices. Uh, make sure you check us out tomorrow because I want to share with you uh, some really powerful concepts around price anchoring. Uh, I, I don't want to go into too much of that now, but it's a really powerful technique to help people um, want to spend more money with you. So we'll, we'll talk about price anchoring tomorrow and the next day I want to talk to you about price contrast to actually have a price to compare. Okay, so that's it from me. Have yourself a great evening. I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, with price anchoring and episode 37. Have a great evening.